Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. This is another late night shot that I want to create a content for. What you're watching on the right is 65 inch QNET LG 816, uh, I guess, R. So this is basically a 4K 120 Hz uh, QNET TV. On the left, you're going to see by Intec U80 Max. This is a portable projector and I'm going to hit play. The EV is getting the signal from the Xbox Series X. This Biontech U80 has 4K Google TV built inside. So both of them are going to play 4K. Let's hit play. So some might say, hey, what the hell? TV is better. Right now, the image on the left from Biontech is a little bigger than from the TV. But right now the ambient lights are on and the room is much brighter than what you see in the camera. I'm going to go back and check behind the camera because I've made it manual exposure. I'm going to close the room lights, ambient lights, to show you what is the difference. Of course TV is acting on the HDR side is better. But what I'm trying to demonstrate here, this is a portable projector on the go. This is how good the U U80 Max from Biontech. You might be asking like, okay, the sharpness is not that, or the HDR space is not that kind of like questions. Right now it's on the cold uh, settings of the visuals. Let me just show you. I can warm it up. Okay, let's warm it up then. When we warm it up, tones are a little bit matching more of course tv is directly giving 4k in the smallest possible way like a 65 inch right now the image on the left is about 70 ish basically a little bit bigger but i can hold it okay this is more important part of this video and i made a dedicated video i'm going to hold it to make it around okay this is Roughly, you're seeing, by the way, it's doing automatically, auto-focusing itself. Since this is a full HD projector, giving 4K signal inside, take a look at this. Right to the left. There are although some differences on the HDR toning, but you can clearly catch the sharpness of a 4K TV even with a full HD, pretty good, portable projector. What is interesting about it, this is 65, and this is about... 40 inch ish so basically you can use this as a proper tv on the go and no proper tv will give you the option of going wide as much as possible let me just show you by taking this thing and put it far back so how large we can go i'm going to fill the left wall by the way i have some pillows sorry about that Okay, on the left, we got a, another image. But what is more important here, right now TV is creating a light source. So this is a brighter image. We all know that like for getting a smaller size, you're going to get same amount of brightness with the projector. You don't have to always go big. And I made dedicated videos about this through the time of this channel. But I want to remind you again, how much of the size that you need first. And the second thing, thing is, you can watch the dedicated video of this projector. I can watch 120 inch, 100, 120 inch image from this projector if I close up the TV. Because right now our eyes looks on the right and sees something extremely bright, looks on the left compared to that, something not bright as possible. As, as much as the other one but you're not going to be watching the visuals side by side like this the reason that i'm doing side by side here i'm going to close the tv okay for a second since xbox is giving the visual it's not going to change what i play look what happens when the tv is gone this is kind of like becoming a perfect image and what i can do is turn the camera okay I will go a little far behind let me just adjust some of the oh 
Okay. Furniture in this space. And I'm going to, okay, try to adjust it. Okay, right now what you're seeing on the left, I need to put a wide angle lens in front. I didn't plan that. So I'm going to, again, open up the ambient lights while you're watching that. Right now the ambient lights are on, okay? And I will double check with you. So there is no magic trick here, okay? There is no magic trick. I'm going to add the wide angle lens and I'm going to turn the camera a little bit to the right. So what I am doing right now, the projector is in the same place, TV is here, and at my back, this is a 135 inch image. So this is basically 90 inch, 90 plus inch image. This is a 65 inch TV. Look how small it is. And I'm going to close the ambient lights. And I'm going to take this and return it this way to create a 135 inch image. Take a look at this. Take a look at that. It's just fitting that video onto this wall. Is it watchable? Yes, it is. Is it a little bit of lacking the sharpness? It is a full HD projector and right now we are projecting 135 inch. It's not right thing to do to comparing with the TV's sharpness. If we squeeze the image, get it closer, we're going to get a great image with a great sharpness. Like I did in the beginning of the video, if you go 40 inch, you're going to have a pretty much a TV. If you go 50, 55, 60, you got a good image, just like a full HD or 4K interlevel TV. But if you go big, I guess no TV could give it to you. Let me just hold it. Okay, it's basically simple move for me. And this is from 135. Although my tripod is not the best, sorry about that. For the weight, this thing having batteries and this is what it does so this is basically again 65 inch ish tv so you are going to have a lot of option if you buy something like this and i'm not trying to make you believe that this is the right thing to buy no i'm just trying to show you a reminder i made a dedicated review video this is quite bright Normally, if I want to watch something, this brightness is not going to be suitable in a dark setup like if you're going to use it in camping. This would be the right way, the low brightness. And I can watch three hours, roughly, depending on the audio and the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection and stuff. Even the medium is quite enough for a 65-inch TV. But when you go high, let me just get back. This is where you want to be. How easy it is, how cool it is. Biontech UAD review was online. So if you haven't watched the video, just go back and watch the video. In that video, I mentioned I will use this projector as a daily. And that's the reason for it. You can convert the TV, you can convert the monitor. You can even go small, just like a monitor. Let me just do that again. For this video's sake, this is going to be, okay, let me just put it up high to make you understand. This is a 20-inch-ish image, and I'm going to open up the TV. It doesn't make sense, right? Nobody probably will use this as a TV. So go back, and we're going to try to find... Okay, so just like this, similar section. Okay, trying to catch the load. I know it's getting the catching the zone is not ideal. You'll get the idea. So basically, this is right now brighter than a TV. So I can catch something around. If I go like this, this is about 30, 32 inch level. And I don't see a brightness difference. Yes, there are HDR and toning differences. But if I do it like this, okay, right beside it, 
This is basically 40 inch ish style and it's really catching the levels up. So I think the portability is just adding a lot and making a lot, lot of sense. Instead of a going bulky big projector, going portable if you have a good portable projector. And the regular brightness of this device, I think it's really far more than enough. I'm not saying if uh, I have much more expensive devices with the better maybe HDR and better toning capabilities or, or my TVs brighter and high dynamic range more capable but this tv is four times expensive than this projector and it's a fixed size image so it's apple to orange there is no meaning to compare it this is just to give you an idea how good a portable projector can be even if you're going to use it as an only device let's say you're a student you're moving from one place to another or you are someone that travels a lot that makes sense. You go to a place, you watch the movie that you like or the content that you love from YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, whatever. <laughs> so that way you're going to enjoy internal 4K. And of course, it could act like a TV if you go small. If you go big, you're going to enjoy a huge screen. So what more could you want from a single device with a single power adapter and pretty good remote and a 4K dongle? So this is not to promote to this device okay the Biontech UAD review was something else but I've decided to shoot this small video just to make sense of how portable projectors can be used you don't have to go always better brightness better HDR better toning maybe more sharpness going 4k full HD might be enough for maybe 70 to 80 percent of people unless you're going to create a dedicated cinema setup then you might want to consider like a big projectors. Of course, I really love big, fixed, powered up projectors. And some of the entry level projectors are cheaper. So that's another topic. We're not just talking about the price. But you can't put a price tag to a portability. Wherever you go, a cinema. How fast is that? It's working its way. I think it's a great thing to have. Going back and forth. Moving the angles even creating screen on the ceiling probably many of you will before you sleep you put it on a tripod you just make it 90 degree angle to the ceiling and you got yourself a ceiling cinema you're about to sleep let me know what you think at the comment section below by Intec UAD max review had online become like I published it so you can go back and watch that video for more specs if you're wondering specs of this device. I'm going to use it as a daily for casual setup. If I want to entertain the family members, I will take out or play console games. I will take out the 4K gaming projector that I got. It's an LED. It's a much more powerful device, but it's four times, three to four times expensive than this one. And it's, it doesn't have battery. And I can't easily install it, use it like this. It needs to have my uh, 4K dongle. This device goes by its own. So if you are referring a portable, another portable projector for a review, I would like to have, you know, check them out. And if you have opinions, write them at the comment section below. If you got scenarios where you want to use this sort of device, is it going to be okay or not? Let me know at the comment section. Also, of course, I am always open for brand recommendations. I will take it uh, into the consideration. So maybe I will review the device that you want to have a review for. But I can't really purchase every stuff along the way because I don't need extra hardware. My wife says home is already expended with huge amount of devices. So I'm taking them to the studios that I got basically. I am just keeping the ones that is portable and of course easy to use and this is why Biontech UAD Max has a place in my setup. Just before ending of the video I realized I didn't make a, I haven't made a section for you to see in the auto exposure mode. It is also important. I'm going to return to this projector and turn it around to this section. But before that, 
I want you to see right now the camera is moving the exposure along the way I will get the projector again to the size of the TV or near sizes just like this side by side okay this is the angle that you want to see just like a TV the image sizes are quite close this is a little bit bigger like 70 inch and this is 65 I'm going to close the TV because TV is creating a lot of light and since the camera is going to tune up the auto brightness it's going to a little bit of enhance and it will show you what I see because when the camera is auto pick up in the darkness it really represents our eyes adjustment but focus on the right 135 I'm going to rotate it get ready okay this is what I am seeing okay as you can see this is acting pretty fast I need to again enhance it just take a little, little bit back okay because of the seat it has a little bit of angle but I'm seeing a great picture here this is a 135 inch image getting 4k signal from a dongle let me just try to look what's the brightness settings it's in the high mode right now but still battery powered it will be okay for one 1 1.2 to 1.5 hours but basically boy it really feels good I mean let's just go back and try to change the video something like this this section is just for you to understand at least sorry about the commercials this section is just to show you again sorry about the commercials I hate them but here we are okay let's check what's the resolution 4k internal I don't have anything else to say the auto brightness adjustment probably lit up the room a little bit you might be seeing room a little bit more bright than I do but basically you are okay to see the screen like this because when when the room gets dark your eyes adjusts and this is what we are seeing the interesting part is still to be able to move it just in a second to create a TV size and then continue with an extreme sharpness just in a second that's about it I just want to show you everything on the go with the auto brightness settings of the camera because the first section was a fixed exposure compared to the TV and it didn't make proper sense you probably seen some stuff a little bit darker than actually is but it has to be done like this but when I do auto of course the TV is bright and the camera will adjust to the TV and room will be pitch black but it's not actually rest of the room gets the light because of the projector because of the huge two screens this is a 65 and if I take it out like 135 room really lits up and if you open up the ambient lights you can still use this device much more basic examples I did it in the full review video if I open up the ambient lights this is an ambient light setup right but once you even have ambient lights even with the ambient lights you can use this setup as a 35 to 30 inch TV look this is a 32 inch TV with an ambient lights on it's going a little low because of the tripod but you can use it even in the little bit of lit environment just as a TV how cool is that hope to see in the next video home cinema and tech review until the next video hoşçakalın don't forget to like and subscribe.